everybody, welcome back to Kinetic Mums with me, Sean. I've got a helper with me today. Amber is off school. She's got um she's recovering from a nasty throat infection. So we're here doing some Christmas crafting. We're making some crackers. Uh, I'm sure I'll tell you about those when they're all finished. Um so yeah, I, we've been treating Amber for a really sore throat and um quite sort of flu-like symptoms for the past three or four days. So I thought why not share those with you guys? Because that's what I did. Um, I had tonsillitis a lot growing up, but Amber's only six, so I wasn't really sure what I could and couldn't give her. Um, so first symptoms I noticed were sore throat, high temperature. She had a she complaining of headache um, last week. So first thing I did was obviously keep an eye on her temperature. I've done a video about thermometers before. Um, we use in our family the kinetic uh, non-contact uh, thermometer as a digital thermometer. Yeah, yeah. I think it's fantastic, um, mainly because um, it's non-contact, so removes the worry of any cross-contamination. Um, and I also like the fact that you don't have to disturb your patient. So if they're sleeping, you just hold the thermometer near their head um, and it takes their reading in literally a second. It's also got a memory function on there so I can keep an eye on what her temperature was. Um, I googled the symptoms um, but I always use sort of trusted online sources for internet diagnosis because um, otherwise you end up terrifying yourself um, so I stick to NHS online because um, I find their advice really helpful. Um, I also went to see a pharmacist, a local pharmacist when she was poorly and the pharmacist gave me some really good advice. Um, the main thing that she really helped me to, to reassure me was um, that you can dose children with liquid uh, ibuprofen and liquid paracetamol. It's quite helpful to know that you can give doses in tandem. So um, every couple of hours you can alternate between paracetamol and ibuprofen. Obviously you must also make, always make sure you never give them more than you should in any 24 hour period and keep to the dosage on the box but it's really helpful to know that you can maintain their temperature and, and help to comfort them with, with uh, intervaled uh, doses. Um, to stop myself overdosing and giving her too much too often I keep a note of when I give her her medicine um, using the notes app on my phone but there is also an app that you can use. I know Cowpole do a free app and you just log what you've given them on when. As always, any mum will reach out to her network of friends and family to ask them what I could give um, Amber. Um, I didn't know what to feed her because she just wasn't interested in eating, but I was worried about her getting dehydrated and obviously keeping her energy up. So um, the best suggestions that we got were jelly. Um, she's eating some now. Um, we've got jelly in pouches. Um, found that she just, it's something she can suck on, but also, um, we did pop some cowpole in the one um, and help her take it because she was finding it really hard to swallow the spoonfuls of it. We made slushies, which I've never let my kids have slushies. I'm kind of against them, but we made our own at home. I crushed up some ice lollies in my smoothie maker with a bit of water um, and made a nice slushy, which was really helpful on your throat, wasn't it? Keeping their temperature down with like loose, like fitting cotton pajamas um, and layers rather than big thick blankets and duvets to sort of remove layers if they get warm and I always keep a cold flannel in the fridge when they're poorly so that I can um, pop it on their forehead and, and have them to feel cool really. But really it's just to, to reiterate the fact that there's lots of home remedies out there you can use. All of my friends and family were so helpful with their suggestions so if you've got any that you want to add that we've missed out pop them in the comments to this video and let's share them. Um, but Amber's getting on the men now so hopefully back to school tomorrow. And thanks for tuning in and keep in touch with Kinetic Mums. We've got loads of ideas. So see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.